Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get Skype on your Linux computer. So to start off, you need to go to skype.com, and uh, you need to look for the Skype for Desktop stuff. Don't worry about any of these other tabs here, look for this area. So you'll see, get Skype for Deb, Linux Snap, and then Skype for RPM. So I'm gonna go over how to install the Linux Deb, but I'm also gonna go over how to install the RPM. The reason I'm going over how to install the Linux Deb is because I use Debian now. I've switched to it recently to make these videos easier because I'm using a more supported distro. So people understand you know, all the Deb packages and such. But anyways, to go through, select your distribution and then click. But anyways, to go through, click Linux Deb and then click the download button. You can select open one done if you're using Chrome that will automatically open it in the package installer like I'm doing here. This is gonna load up and it will take a bit of time because it's a package manager, but it'll say package Skype for Linux. Just click the install Skype package, the install package button here and uh, we should be good to go. From here, all you'll need to do is if the package tool asks you to enter your password, do it, if not, uh, then you don't need to, but you can also install this with the terminal and uh, I'm going to be talking about the terminal way of installing it via a snap package because snap packages is It's one of the ways you can get Skype working if you do not use a Fedora or RPM based distribution or a Debian or Ubuntu based distribution Please check our link in the description as I go over exactly how to do all of this in detail, but Suffice it to say, if you do snap find Skype, you'll be able to see that Skype is right here, and uh, this is the name of the package. It's this is the version name, and you can easily do sudo snap install Skype. Enter your password. It will go through. Sometimes when you install snaps, it'll say this version of Skype was published with classic confinement. To solve this problem, you need to go back and try entering it again, and then this time do dash dash classic. Now this will give you the latest version of the snap and it'll be easy to install. And uh, we will be, we'll be going over the third way of installing Skype in a minute here because there's actually a third way if you cannot use snaps and you cannot use Debian's or RPM's. But uh, Skype should be under internet. We have the official Debian version and we also have the snap package version. We can click on any of these to open it and launch it and Skype will instantly open and we can sign in. The third way is by using a flat pack. So to find this the flat pack version of Skype, please check our article. But if not, if you don't want to do that, just go to flathub.org slash apps. You can look to the command line version because it's honestly faster. Press control F and then type in Skype. This will automatically take you down to the Skype section. And then all you got to do is make sure that you follow our guide on how to install flat packs, which we have a video on this channel. And uh, once you do that, you'll be able to copy and paste this command here, put sudo in front of it, press enter, press yes, and um, configure the Flathub repo, press yes to install it, and Flathub will go through, and the Flatpak tool itself will go through and it'll download all of the Delta parts that it are, are required to install snap packages. All the, it'll go through and it will download, excuse me, it'll go through and download the Skype package. You may need to edit that bit out. Once the flat pack tool is done, you can go in here and look for Skype. Sometimes when you install a flat pack, it may not show up right away. The solution for this is to log in and log back out of your computer and you should be able to use it. Anyways, guys, this is all of the ways you can install Skype on the Linux desktop. Uh, please check the description below. We go over this in writing, and if that's easier than following this video, or if you want something to follow along with, that is a good idea as well. But for now, this has been Derek, and I will see you in the next video.